Ingrid Betancourt was a Colombian senator campaigning for president as a candidate of the Green Oxygen Party when she and her campaign manager, Clara Rojas, were kidnapped in an area controlled by FARC rebels. In a second, they became captives. Their prison, the Amazon jungle. You're in an environment that is very aggressive. There are all kind of bugs, snakes, tarantulas, uh, you know, um, animals that can attack you. Uh, well, that's at night, and during the day, uh, we were uh, chained uh, to a tree by the neck, and we couldn't move anywhere. Betancourt tells her story in a new memoir, Even Silence Has an End. For the next six and a half years, she and other captives, including three American military contractors taken after their plane crashed, lived in privation and cruelty. The FARC guerrillas regularly filmed the hostages, to prove they were alive and thus still useful for ransom or as bargaining chips. Betancourt tried to escape five times, but each time was recaptured and subjected to new punishment. You know, you are in extreme situations, you cope with that as much as you can. And for me, the only thing that was important was to, in those humiliating times, very hard and some sadistic situations where we had the guards really being violent and, and you know, cruel, uh, what I thought was always keeping my dignity. I mean, res being as much as I could, preserving the respect I had for myself. In July 2008, a helicopter team landed at the camp to transfer 14 of the hostages. They seemed to be rebels allied with the FARC. The captives despaired that they would be moved even deeper into the Amazon. So I thought, deeper? We will never, never come out of this again, and I thought it's going to be 10, 20 more years of abduction. So we didn't want to get into that helicopter. We went forced because we had the rifles in, in our backs. But once aboard the helicopter, it turned out the rebels were not what they seemed. And one of them shouted, we're the Colombian army, you are free. In an elaborate operation, the Colombian army had tricked FARC commanders into unwittingly giving up their prisoners. Betancourt was reunited with her family including her two children, who had been 13 and 16 when she was captured. She says the life of love she had known before the abduction helped her to survive. Feeling loved by my children, by my mother, by my father, gave me the strength to want to escape all the time. It was really my obsession. But I think there was also other kinds of love, the love of God, which for me was very important. Betancourt says the love of her fellow hostages also kept her alive, although several of them, including Clara Rojas, have since criticized her in memoirs. She was also widely denounced in Colombia when she announced plans to sue the government for compensation. She later dropped the lawsuit. Now living in France and the United States, Betancourt says she is still trying to recover from her years in captivity and has no interest in returning to politics but she says she will continue lobbying on behalf of kidnapping victims. Human rights groups estimate that Colombian guerrillas currently have 600 to several thousand hostages. Carolyn Weaver, VOA News, New York.